Hello. Hi, guys. Happy Friday. It is follow-up Friday, Fierce Friday, and uh, I am here, and I just wanted to say hi, and I am bringing it to you guys because I'm really excited. Uh, Instagram, what's up? Facebook, what's up? I'm really excited about my book. Um, this book, uh, The Machete Mentality, I'm super excited. Uh, to bring it to you guys October 4th. So October 4th, mark it down. I'm going to be blasting the link everywhere. Um, and I know it's Friday in the middle of the day. It's like 1 o'clock. It's right around lunchtime, past lunchtime. And I just wanted to be consistent in coming on here. And I'm actually going to share a little bit with you. Now, yesterday I kind of told you like who it's for and what it's about. And today I just wanted to clarify my definition of stuck and settling because that's what this book is about. This book is about helping you get unstuck, helping you not to settle because it's so easy to do both and it is a very fine line of crossing over into one or the other and it's just one more step actually to stop doing both. And I am a huge fighter for this because I almost lost my life and I should not be here and I got a second chance and then I kept screwing up after that and I got more second chances, thank you Jesus. But this book is about you. It's about helping you fight for your future self, for the future life, so that you don't have to have a life and death experience, that you don't have to stay down when life happens to you. So I share pieces of my past with you. I don't give you all the juicy details. You're going to have to get that in the next book, which is Dancing with Tsunamis, and that'll be released in the spring. But I can tell you this, and I almost tear up. I've always wanted to be an author. I've been a personal trainer, I've been a trainer, I've been an aerobics instructor, I've been a boxing instructor. I've even been a paralegal for Walgreens Corporation. I have been so many things in my life, but I've always been a writer deep down on the inside. And I know there's so many of you out there and you can see me pleading with you, this is legit. There is something inside of you calling and reaching out that you want to be something else and you want to be something more and you don't know how to do it because you're stuck in the day-to-day -day of the life that you're currently living. And I want to teach you how you can start fighting for that future life that you can actually do it. I'm 45 years old. I'm a single mom with two kids. I've done it in between going up and down those stairs while I've done 10 billion loads of laundry, handled lots of one-on-one -on -one clients, group clients, while I've been coached, while I've been speaking while I've been learning, training, filming videos, I get it, and paying bills and not paying bills and all kinds of things over the past, you know, so many years. So I get it. Life happens. And that is what this book is about. You cannot read this book. This is the book you need to finish out 2022 like a badass that you are, bold, braver, with more clarity. You do not have to finish 2022 in a deficit. You don't even have to go into the holidays. This actually, this book will actually only take you about four hours to read. I know it looks super thick, but there's a workbook in it. Now, if you're doing the workbook and you're doing the work as you should, because that's what it's intended to do, it's gonna take you a little bit longer because you're gonna reread this book multiple times. It's gonna be dog-eared, it's gonna be highlighted, it's gonna be, you know, if you're like me, like I star things. I mean, I got, for example, like, I have one of these books, you know, like this is, you know, the highlighting, the making the marks, dog earring. That's what this book is going to look like. If you read this before the new year, you get this October 4th, you're not finishing 2022 stuck or settled. You're not suffering anymore. You actually have a plan going forward. This is coaching for you. It is helping you understand you and I'm really proud of it. I'm excited to bring it to you. The little girl inside of me, the little eight-year-old girl that used to dream about being a writer, like finally gets it now. And I had to go through so many of those life happening moments and life adversity moments and difficult times in order to be able to give you guys this roadmap that I call the machete mentality. So October 4th, you gotta get it. It's gonna be all over Amazon. It'll be on my website. And then join us if you are local in the area. And if you're not local in the area, fly in, drive in. It's gonna be a great time on October 21st. All of those details are on my website, robinthrasher.com. And uh, you can also sign up for the email list so you don't miss a thing. And then of course, I'm gonna be up in here for a long time, you know, helping you help yourself. This is the fight for your future self. So 
Stuck Settling. It is one of my chapters in my book, The Machete Mentality. It's chapter 12. They're quick page turners. This is a draw you in. This is a you can't give up. You're going to start fighting for yourself. It's a conversation. It's, uh, it, guys, it's going to be awesome. So I just want to share just an excerpt with you. I'm not reading the whole chapter or anything like that, but if you are stuck or you are settling or maybe you are somebody that helps people get unstuck, these are my definitions of what I've come up with with stuck and settling. So here we go. Stick with me. Join, to hang with me just for a second. Stuck and settling. Meet the fraternal twins typically joined at the hip. These two yahoos are often misunderstood and mistaken as interchangeable, identical part pairs. However, make no mistake, they are worlds apart. Stuck says, I don't know which way to go. I got this far, but I'm overwhelmed by the choices ahead, so I'm going to stay here a while. Settling says, I gave up. I waved my white flag and have conceded my run in this race. It's too much impossibility for me at this pace. Stuck says, help, while settling shouts, go away, leave me alone. Stuck says, maybe, and at least contemplates calculating one more. While settling says, nope, sits down, crosses its defiant arms with a scowl on its face. Stuck shyly says, I want to give it another go, hesitating yet secretly waiting to get put back in the game, while settling has boldly pronounced its objections to any alternatives and waves, any other possibility of powering through the problem in its way. Stuck still wants a chance to see. Stuck still wants a chance to see. If you're stuck, you still want a chance to see, while settling sees roadblocks and lives hopelessly in place. So are you stuck or are you settling? I can guarantee you, you are one or the other somewhere in your life. You might even be caught up in between both. They can gang up on you, bullying you into a beatdown to become best friends with each. So are you stuck somewhere? Caught on your couch, Netflix binging with a bowl of chips, crowding your mind with countless hours of other people's dreams, problems, dramas, issues, numbing out from the reality that it's either all too much all at once or not enough, enough of the time. Seriously, are, are you weighed down with hopelessness or just don't know how to start this? Are you still wishing for more? Have you succumbed to the sacrificing of living any other way that this is it, life as is, a used up, beat up, run down, foreclosed on home that isn't worth investing in anymore? Now, that's just a little piece of my definition of stuck and settling. Eight years ago, I almost lost my life. I know what it's like to be at rock bottom, to be stuck, to suffer, and to even settle. I don't want that for anybody, and that is what this book is about. It is all for you, written for you to change your life this year. This year, not next year this year. So mark October 4th, join me. You will not regret it. It's going to be the best book you read this fall, possibly, hopefully this year, guys. Um, the Machete Mentality, October 4th. Stay tuned for more details. Uh, I'm not going to be on this weekend, but I'm going to be shooting you guys all kinds of information and details. And if you are in the area, please come out and meet me October 21st. I would love to meet you, shake your hand, see what you think about the book, or maybe you just get it for the first time that night. We're going to do readings, signings. We're going to have some fun hors d'oeuvres and signature drinks all at Von Foss out at Wiregrass in Wesley Chapel from 7 to 9. Details are on my website. But... Guys, this is the fight for your future self. And the coach in me, the human in me, the woman in me, all the crushed dreams in me encourage you, compel you, challenge you to start fighting for your future self. Every chapter has questions for you at the end, a workbook built in for you to do the work at your pace, on your terms. It'll change your life if you let it. You don't have to walk into another year, another month, putting off and keeping the life trapped inside. You deserve this, and I hope you'll join me. Thank you guys for your support and for following me. The Machete Mentality, October 4th. I'm super excited. I almost want to sleep with it like it's a pillow, but um, that might be a little too much. So that's the silliness in me. Have a happy Friday. Put it on a sticky note. The fight for your future self. You deserve it. Don't settle. Don't stay stuck. You got this. I'll see you October 4th, The Machete Mentality. Peace out.